If you do have a yoga block, feel free to sit on your block. And we're going to start seated. So you can come into a cross-legged seat if that feels best for you. And then sit up nice and tall. You can close your eyes down. And just take a bigger breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Let's do that twice more. Big breath in, fill up. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Once we're here, breath in. Exhale, breath out. And now just allowing the breath to find a natural, organic rhythm. And you can take the breath in and out through the nose. And again, reaching the crown of the head skyward. Grounding down to your sit bones. And just start to check in and ask yourself, mm, how am I feeling today? Without judgment or criticism, just observing. And now we're going to move into a pranayama, alternate nostril breathing. So you can take your pointer finger and your middle finger to your third eye center. That's the space between the eyebrows. And then taking your thumb and your ring finger. And I want you to close off your left nostril. And then take an inhale through the right. Close off the right, open the left nostril, exhale out the left. Keeping the left nostril open, inhale through the left. Close it off, open the right, exhale it out. Inhale through right. Close it off, open the left, exhale out the left. Inhale through left. Close it off, open the right, exhale through the right. Inhale through right. Close it off, open the left, exhale. Inhale through left. Close it off, open the right, exhale. Inhale through right. Close it off, open left, exhale. Inhale through left. Close it off, open right, exhale. Inhale through right. Close it off, open left, exhale. Inhale through left. Close it off, open right, exhale. Inhale through right. Open left, exhale. Inhale through left. Close it off, exhale through right, inhale through right, close it off, open left, exhale, inhale through left, close it off, open right, exhale, let's do one more round, inhale through right, close it off, open left, exhale, inhale through left, Close it off, open right, exhale. And then relax your arms into your lap. And just take a few moments here. Just observe, see anything that has shifted. Maybe just take note of any sensations that you're experiencing right now in this moment. Just allowing the breath to find that natural rhythm once again.
we're going to take a deeper breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. All right, you can slowly open the eyes. And if you are sitting on a block, I'm going to ask you to remove the block and place it at the top of your space. And then switch up the cross of your legs. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to find a twist. So extend your right arm back behind you. Left hand to the right knee. Sit up nice and tall, breath in. And then exhale, begin to twist. Keep reaching the crown of the head towards the sky, breath in. Exhale, twist. Once more here, inhale. And exhale, twist. And then inhale, come back through center. Let's switch it out. Extend the left arm back behind you, right palm, left knee. Nice long spine, breath in. Exhale, begin to twist. Once more here, no, twice more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. One more breath in. Exhale, twist, breath out. And then inhale, come back through center. So I want you to extend your left leg long. And you can cross your right leg over the left. Option to stay here. Or you can bend your bottom knee, stacking your knees for cow face. And then inhale, reach the crown of the head up, nice long spine. Option to stay upright or you can start to exhale, fold over your legs. Just feeling this hip stretch, this hip opener. And you can close your eyes if that feels better. Just sending your breath to any areas of tension that you might experience here. On your next inhale, slowly start to press yourself up if you're leaning forward. And let's switch out the cross of the leg. So option to keep your right leg long. You can cross your left leg over, or you can bend both knees and stack the knees. Stay equally grounded through both sits bones. Sit up nice and tall, big breath in. Option, exhale, start to fold over the legs. The side might feel different, it does for me. Definitely can feel the bar class that I taught earlier today. <laughs> All right, maybe close your eyes. And inhale, start to press yourself up if you were leaning forward. Ooh. And then uncross the legs. We're going to come into a tabletop position. So coming into all fours, stack your knees underneath your hips, wrist underneath your shoulders. We're going to go through cat-cow just to warm up the spine. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly down, extend the crown of the head, sits bones up. And then exhale, cat pose, navel to spine, head hangs heavy. Twice more through, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose. Once more, inhale, cow pose, widen through the collarbones, the sits bones. And then exhale, cat pose, navel to spine, press the floor away. And then inhale, come back through a neutral tabletop. And just take a few breaths here. You can move in any way that feels good. I like to circle my hips. Find some barrel rolls with the chest, some side bends. And then start to even out your sides. And then come back through a neutral tabletop. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog, hips up and back. And from this down dog, you can start to walk your legs out, bending one knee deeply opposite heel to the earth. Maybe shake your head, yes and no. And then you come back through a neutral table or downward dog, breath in. 
full breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your space. Inhale is halfway lift. You can take your fingertips to your shins, thighs. If you have your yoga block, you can always take your hands to a block. And then exhale forward, fold, bend the knees on the way down. Inhale, upward salute, reach up, lengthen the arms overhead. And then exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Find a nice long spine. And then exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank. Hold here. And just know you can always drop your knees down if you need more contact with the earth. And I want you to focus on that straight line from the crown of the head to your heels. Hug the low belly in. And then press into all 10 finger pads. Take a breath in. Drop your knees down. Exhale, come all the way to your belly. Uncurl the toes, tops of the feet to the floor. Fingertips in alignment with the collarbones. Press into the tops of your feet so your kneecaps lift. Inhale is cobra. Exhale, forehead to floor. Let's do that twice more. Inhale is cobra pose, strong legs behind you. Exhale, forehead to floor. Once more here, maybe using a little bit more arm strength. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, forehead to floor. Curl the toes under. Inhale, press up, tabletop. Exhale is downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. All right, let's go through our sene twice more. First time through, one cobra. Second time through, our cute chaturanga. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, is upward salute. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back, high plank. Breath in. Knees lifted or knees down, exhale, come all the way to your belly. Uncurl the toes, tops of the feet down. Inhale is cobra. Exhale, forehead to floor. Inhale, press up, knees lifted or knees down, high plank. Exhale is downward dog. Second time through, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your space. Inhale's half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale is upward salute, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank. Take a breath in. Welcome to go to your belly for cobra, for chaturanga. Bend the elbows to a 90 degree. Flip to the top of the feet, inhale is upward dog. Exhale is downward facing dog. Deeper breath in. Fuller breath out. Welcome to find stillness, or you can find some movement. From here, take an inhale. Look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your space. Adding on this time, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward salute. Reach up. Exhale is vertical twist to the right. So right arm back, left arm forward. Try not to let the left hip crease creep forward. You want to pull it back. Inhale, crep. Upward salute. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Keeping your hips and shoulders squared, or excuse me, hips squared, left shoulder pulls back. Inhale, back through center. Let's do that once more on each side. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Palms touch, exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Cue change, step your left foot back. So right foot forward, lunge. You can always take your block here or left palm to the mat. Left arm plants, right arm lifts. So twisted lunge. Gaze can go down or gaze can go up. Whatever feels best for your neck. 
exhale, release. Move the block out of your way, drop your left knee down. And then inhale, bring your palms to your right thigh and come upright through your torso. And I want you to think about lengthening your tailbone down and then softening shoulders. Option to start to drop your hips a little lower. If this doesn't feel so good for the low back, low back, back out, please. <laughs> One more inhale here. Stay for the exhale. And then release. Take your palms to the earth. Curl the toes under. Lift your back knee. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your space. So bend your left. You can drop your booty down to your heel and then rotate your right toes towards the sky. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, bend your right knee, skandasana top of your space. Left toes can lift. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out. And then take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, top of your space. Plant your palms, step your right foot back. Connecting vinyasa of your choice. You can go to your belly for cobra or low push-up to upward dog. Exhale is downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, jump, top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward salute, reach up. Vertical twist, exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, come back through center, palms touch, exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. This time, step your right leg back, left leg forward. Option to grab your block, right arm plants, inhale, left arm lifts. Finding a nice long spine, and then gaze can go up or gaze can go down. And then exhale, release. Remove the block out of your way, drop your right knee down. Inhale, take your palms to your left thigh. Torso is upright. Yes, perfect. Option to start to deepen into the lunge if it feels okay on your low back. And then release, take your palms to the earth. Curl the right toes under, lift your back knee, rotate to the right, skandasana back of your space, bend your right knee, left toes can lift up. So if this feels better for you, you can always stay here. You can stay upright. For me, it feels better here. Inhale back through center. Exhale, bend your left knee, right toes can rotate up. And then inhale back through center, toes in, heels out. Exhale is forward fold. Take a deeper breath in. Oh, exhale, release, let it go. Inhales, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, top of your space, plant your palms, step it back. Option for Chaturanga Dandasana, or you can drop your knees, come to Cobra. Inhale as your back bend. Exhale, release. Press it up, downward facing dog. Deeper breath in, fuller breath out. All right, friends, we're gonna flow through that. One breath, one movement, so picking up the pace. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel top of your space. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward salute, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Step your left leg back, right leg forward lunge. Plant your left palm, inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, release, left knee down. 
Inhale, sit up, crescent moon. Exhale, release, curl the left toes under. Take a rotation towards the left, skandasana back of your space. Inhale back to center, exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale back to center, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, plant your palms, option to float your leg, connecting vinyasa of your choice. Exhale, is downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, jump, top of your space. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, upward to look, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Step your right foot back. Right palm plants. Inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, release. Bend your right knee, place it on the mat. Inhale is crescent moon, palms to thigh. Exhale, release. Lift your back knee. Rotate to the right, skandasana back of your space. Bend the right leg. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend your left. Inhale back to center, exhale is wide-legged forward fold, toes in, heels out. Inhales half lift. Exhale, lunge, top of your space, plant your palms, step your left leg back, option to float the leg, hips are squared. Inhale is back bend. Exhale is downward facing dog. Take a deeper breath in and a fuller breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, jump. Bring your toes to touch, space between the heels. Inhale is chair pose. So everyone's favorite, right? <laughs> I know, it's not my favorite. All right, so down and back. So biceps by the ears, if this is too much for your shoulders, you can always reach more forward. But make sure you can see your toes. If you can't, press your knees back a little bit further and then lengthen your tailbone down more. Yes, beautiful. Take a breath in. Exhale, sit lower. Inhale, reach up. Lengthen the legs. Upward salute. Exhale is forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Step your left leg back. Right foot forward, lunge. Drop the left heel down, and then make sure your heel is inter, um, intersecting the arch of your left foot. And you can always grab a block here. And then we're gonna lift the left arm up. So extended side angle. You can always be here if this feels better. Palm down to the block or to your mat. All right, big move coming up. Press down through your right foot. Leading with the left arm. Inhale, come up. Exhale, ground down, warrior two. Press the shoulder blades onto your back. Gaze is over your right fingertips. Bend your right knee a little more. Flip the right palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in your right knee. And then exhale, come back through, warrior two. Inhale is five point and start, open it up, toes out, heels in. And then exhale is horse. Drop your hips low, and you can rock side to side. Inhale is five point and start, open it up. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your right palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, windmill the arms down. Remove the block out of your way. Step it back. High plank, low plank, or to your belly. Find your connecting vinyasa. And exhale as downward dog. Take a deeper breath in. And a fuller breath out. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, step, hop, jump, toes touch, space between the heels. Inhale, ish, chair pose. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Sitting down, grounding through your heels. Chin is parallel to the floor. Find more length through the tailbone. Inhale, upward salute, reach up, lengthen the legs. Exhale, is forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, step your right foot back. And then inner edge of your right foot down. Again, welcome to grab your block. Left palm plants. Inhale, right arm lifts. So again, you might be here, and that's okay. Gaze can go down or gaze can go up. Pressing down through your left foot. Leading with the right arm. Inhale, come up. Exhale, ground down, warrior two. So I want your back leg just as strong as your front. And weight is in your left heel. Stay light through your toes. Maybe you can lift your left toes up. And then gaze is over the left fingertips. Try not to lean too far forward. Instead, I want your shoulders over your hips. Yes. Bend your left knee more. Flip your left palm. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Reach up and back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five point of start. Toes out, heels in. Reach up, make yourself big. And then exhale, horse drop your hips low. You can rock side to side if that feels good. Maybe even close your eyes here. Just feel how strong your legs are. Inhale, five point of start. Reach up, lengthen the legs. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your palm, inhale, reverse. Exhale, windmill the arms down. Remove the block out of your way. Plant your palms. Step it back. Connecting vinyasa of your choice. You can always drop your knees down. Come to your belly for cobra. Exhale is downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Take a deeper breath in. And a fuller breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel top of your space. Toes touch. Inhale is chair pose. Sit down and back. All right, from here, we're going to take a vertical twist to the right. So right arm back, left arm forward. Again, try to not to let the left hip crease creep forward. Keep pulling it back so you're finding a twist. Yes, lovely. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale is forward fold, belly to thighs. Inhale is halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back about oh, halfway down your mat. And you may want your block here. If you don't have a block, a water bottle works too. Yeah. So we're going to come into a pyramid pose. Left toes can rotate outward slightly. Square your left hip forward. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Find a length spine. Exhale, soften the belly to your thigh. Twice more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften belly to thigh. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, belly to your thigh. Hold here. And you can start to round through your spine, taking your forehead closer toward your knee. Maybe close your eyes. And then breathe into the back of your right hamstring. Take an inhale, half lift. Bend your right knee. Step forward. Exhale is forward fold. Inhale's half lift. Press the shoulder blades onto your back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale is upward salute, reach up. Exhale is forward fold. Inhale is halfway lift. This time step your right foot back, halfway through your mat. You can rotate the right toes out, maybe grab your block. Finding a pyramid pose on this side. Square your right hip forward, take an inhale, half lift. Find a nice long spine, and then exhale, soften your belly to your thigh. Twice more, inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, soften belly to the back. Once more, inhale, half lift. Exhale, soften. Hold here. Maybe round through your spine. And take your forehead closer toward your knee. Inhales, halfway lift, look forward, step your right foot forward, exhale, forward fold. Toes touch, inhale is chair pose, yep. We got a couple more of these. <laughs> Find length in your low back, hug your inner thighs together, low belly in, breath in. Exhale, forward fold, belly to thigh. Inhales, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back with bent elbows. Connecting vinyasa of your choice. Inhales, up dog or cobra. Exhale is downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, hop, jump, top of your space. Inhales, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale is upward salute, reach up, press the floor away. Bring your palms to touch. And then exhale, bring your palms to heart center. Take a moment here, pause. Maybe close your eyes. Just taking a moment here. Feel the vibrations through your body. Feel the breath as it moves through the body. I slowly soften the gaze open. We're going to move into our peak pose. I'm going to rotate so I can see the camera. All right. So we're going to come to chair. And if you want, you may need a block. I'll give you some options here. So bring your toes to touch. Sit down into your chair pose. And then bring your palms to heart center. Shift your weight over into your left leg. Inhale, your right knee lifts, flex your ankle, and then cross your ankle over your right or left thigh, sit down and back. So if your balance is too, super off today, which it happens, you can take your hands to a block in front of you. If not, I want your chest lifted, soften the shoulders out of your ears. Weight is in your left heel. Option to stay here, or you can start to twist taking your elbow to the inside of your arch of your foot and then lengthening your legs or your arms, excuse me. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Perfect. So good. Sit down a little bit lower, find your breath in and then exhale, come back to center, inhale, lengthen the legs, stand up, maybe close the eyes, take a breath and release. Toes touch, inhale, chair pose, sit down and back. All right, we're gonna switch it out. Take your weight into your right leg. Palms can come through heart center. Inhale, left leg lifts. Flex your ankle. Sit down into your figure four. Weight is in your right heel. Lift up through your chest. Option to stay here, or you can start to twist towards the right, taking the elbow to your inside of your thigh, your uh, foot. Yes. Option to extend the arms wide. Yes. So good, are you breathing? Lovely, all right, come back to center and then release toes touch. Inhale, arms up, lengthen the legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhales, halfway lift. Last call for Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant the palms, step or hop back. Inhales, back bend. Exhale is downward facing dog. Deeper breath in and a fuller breath out. Slowly bend your knees to the earth and then sit back onto your heels. Feel free to keep your block with you if you have it. Feeling good? Yeah? Okay. Roll over onto one side and then come onto your back. So we're going to do two back bends. Or 
first one is bridge pose. So take your ankles and stack them underneath your knees. Feet are hip width distance. Press into your heels. Inhale, lift your pelvis up. Walk the shoulder blades closer towards one another onto your back. Then lengthen your chin away from your chest. Think about rotating your pubic bone towards your belly button. So you have a little bit more space in the low back. You can always take an interlace grip underneath you, lifting your pelvis even higher. If you have that interlace grip, release the grip, and then slowly lower the spine back down towards the earth. So you can take the soles of the feet together, knees wide, or feet wide, knees together. You can place your hands onto your torso. Maybe close the eyes down. And then check in. All right, we're going to come into another back bend. Option to do bridge again. If wheel is part of your practice, feel free to go for wheel. If you've never done wheel before, today's not the day. That's a different class. I'll teach that one next. All right, so my favorite, grab a hold of your block if you have one. Um, come into that bridge shape again. Lift your hips up and then take the block underneath your sacrum. Allow the sacrum to be supported with the block and your arms can go down by your sides. Maybe close your eyes. If you are in wheel or in bridge pose, please make sure that you are breathing. All right. If you're in bridge or wheel, slowly start to make your way back down towards the earth. If you are in supported bridge, press into your heels, lift your pelvis just enough to remove the block, set it aside, and then lower the pelvis back down. So you can come into that knees together, feet wide, or soles of the feet together, knees wide. And again, placing your hands onto your torso, maybe closing your eyes. All right, take a deeper breath in. A fuller breath out. If your knees are wide, take your hands to your knees, hold them in like a book. And then bring your knees in towards your chest. Tee out the arms or goal post with the arms. Supine twist. Knees go left, right shoulder to the earth. You can rotate the chin towards the right shoulder only if it feels okay for the neck. If not, just keep it upright. And then inhale, pull the knees back through center. Let's switch it out. Supine twist. Exhale, knees go right, left shoulder to the earth. Chin rotates towards the shoulder if it feels okay. If not, take your chin straight up towards the sky. And just allowing this to feel really, really good. And then inhale, come back through center. And you can either take your knees in towards your chest or find happy baby if that feels good. Are there any other movements or shapes that you would like to take before our final Shavasana? Please do so now. If you are ready for your Shavasana, release your grip, extend your legs long. Separate the feet wide and allow the toes to fall away from one another. And then arms can come down by your sides or option to take your hands to your torso. Just softening through the jaw, softening through the space between the eyebrows. And allow your entire body to become very heavy. 
encourage you to close your eyes down and settle, in, settle into some stillness. And just enjoy these few moments and I will let you know when it's time to come out. Alright, keeping your stillness, first take a deeper breath in through your nose. Part the lips, exhale, let it go. Let's do that once more. Breath in, fill up. Breath out, empty it all, let it go. You can start to rock your head side to side. Maybe find some movement in the toes, the fingers. And start to circle the wrists, the ankles. And when you're all ready, take the arms overhead, find a full body stretch. Pull the inseams of your legs together. You can point the toes, flex the feet. And start to pull the knees in towards your chest. And you can rock over onto one side, whichever side feels most inviting to you. I'm just taking a moment here to pause. Just one last intentional pause before you step into the rest of your day. And then using the strength of your arms, begin to press yourself up, coming into a comfortable seat. Feel free to keep your eyes closed. Bring the palms to touch at your heart center. Sit up nice and tall and just take a slight tuck of chin. I'm going to offer up gratitude for all the amazing things that your body can do. Offer gratitude for yourself, for showing up on your mat, prioritizing your practice, your movement, and breathing with intention. Thank you so very much for allowing me to, the honor of guiding you through your movement today. Bring the thumbs to third eye center. I bow and say namaste.